Hi my peace and peeps, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am creating a character inspired by three words. And my voice is hoarse, so you're gonna have to kind of listen to me talk like this. But just pretend this is my normal voice and I'm just really nasal. Anyway, in today's video is a character design challenge and I am creating a character inspired by three words. This is a collaboration with T and my three words that she has actually given me is elegant retro and galactic if you guys want to know the words i gave her you'll just have to go check her channel out and see what she created but i haven't did one of these videos in a really long time so i'm actually really really excited because these were the videos i did all the time when first starting up my channel as you can see my setup for my tripods and stuff is very different because my tripod broke and i'm in a different area for today's video i don't really know whenever it's going to get consistent again with the areas i'm recording at but let's just draw let's not worry about anything else so like i said the three words she gave me was elegant retro and galactic so i just want to write those things down now to be fair <laughs> galactic i'm Elegant and galactic kind of seem like opposites to me because galactic I kind of see it like out of this world, you know what I mean? Like space and stars and like crazy. I also think of a print, like those really old pants that kids used to wear, Milky Ways and like space on their leggings. Oh my gosh. And then I think of elegant, which is like completely different, like simple, classic, classy. But then I also think retro. So these are gonna be very hard to just create one character. So I have to kind of mix them. So let me brainstorm a bit. Mm. So I'm thinking retro, you know, the 80s or whatever time century that is, with like the afros, the bell bottom jeans, you know, the big hoop earrings, you know what I'm talking about? That's what uh, retro is to me, or that's the first things I think of. So I'm kind of thinking I should give her like those wide pants, but I would say this girl would have simple makeup. I would say she'll be a woman. I'm a woman. Oh my gosh. I'm a little house and prairie fan, so I love that one. I have not drew in my sketchbook like this in a while. Let me just draw a basic body. <laughs> oh, this is a very rough looking sketch. I'm just sketching it very quickly so I don't forget the idea that I already have. So it's not going to look right. Okay, be nice to me. Elegant. So how about we do elegant style? Okay. Ooh. The style I do. Ooh. <laughs> Never mind. I thought I could split it up. Oh boy. Okay, let me just get out what I already have. Wide jeans on. With it like wide at the bottom. But it's still like fitted. You know. Towards the waist and all of her hips and stuff circle belts kind of go over like this and maybe add to the retro bit have it not in with all the others the hard part may be including the galactic part because galactic i think of purple and blue and stars so maybe her pants can be blue deep blue mm -hmm. maybe she had one of those big hats on okay we resorted to pinterest had to look at some inspiration so, uh of course in this time era there was a lot of patterns <laughs> what time era am i talking about i'm really talking about elegant and retro i mean retro let me actually look up retro <laughs> Yeah, I was only thinking loud colors, afro, roller skating. So let's just get ideas out. I'm thinking of maybe short collar, sleeve length here with gloves. And this looks like a handbag, so we're just gonna go with it. Don't look at the hand. And maybe she'll have retro. Think retro. <laughs> Think retro as well. But what I was saying with the <clears throat> patterns and stuff, excuse me, I'm sorry, is like stripes, polka dots. Okay, that's kind of cute actually. Okay, that's actually kind of giving. I didn't have any room to draw the shoes like I always. Okay, cute. Stop playing with her. I mean, 
earrings that is cute actually now i don't believe in any astrology and stuff you know zodiac signs i don't do that but i do want to include little things like stars and moons to enforce the galactic you know what i mean so under the moon earring that's cute let's keep brainstorming but i want to go in a completely different direction just so i can look at them side by side so i just looked up galactic um outfit ideas and i'm seeing a lot of like space you know you know party type clothing wear um i don't believe in halloween or anything like that as well <laughs> you guys are learning a lot from me today but i do maybe she's going to a costume party i don't know you guys can you know let your imagination run after you guys see what i'm about to create I are like bent like this. I'm sorry, but this is not this is not the pose I was kind of going for. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, let me have fun real quick. I don't know what pose this girl is doing, but it makes me laugh, so I'm gonna keep it. It makes me laugh, so I'm gonna keep it. Mm-hmm. 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 You're in the mood. Stop playing with her. Okay. So I drink tea. And I feel better. Um, anyway, so I really just have to start coloring using colors because i feel like that's what that is what will really push the aesthetics i'm kind of going for what i'm thinking because you guys can't see what i'm seeing for this girl which i really like i'm thinking for her legs to be like the holographic like white multicolor holographic for her pants her belt to be black and then her shirt to be striped i actually don't know what color her shirt will be and then of course her hat and then here i'm also thinking for a holographic um, bottom and then maybe like a maybe hold her top yeah have her shoulders out <clears throat> and then i like this idea like you know those obnoxious boots <laughs> like those really chunky high that looks interesting but that's kind of how they look party girl yeah you know <laughs> looks like fun but i honestly think i like this one the most so i'm gonna draw her again and i'm gonna color her in i added those because it was looking really naked up here and i need something else to look at anyway i'm gonna draw her again because i really like her i think she's really cute i like her body type actually she looks like a pear like a pear body type and i really like that because i think she looks Cute. Anyway, we're pulling out the big guns. The big guns. Pulling out the big guns. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this out y'all's way. I have no idea how I'm gonna get the metallic effect. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna draw her big. What the? I'm gonna do effect every time I say that. And I like the accessories I gave her. It was pretty quick. I'm surprised I came up with that. Let me look at a reference on how to draw the hair. I do wanna give her moon earrings. And then the hair, which is on the retro part. I love this hair, so. Okay, so here's the drawing so far. I like it. It's different. I never drew a girl like this before. Now I just need to pick out the colors I want to draw for her. Let's say she has brown hair. I think that is kind of the closest we're gonna get. But I wanted to have like a, you know, a dark color and a light color. Hmm. I don't know. This seems a little bit more grayer compared to that. You see them? Okay, great. I'm gonna lightly erase this with my needy eraser. You can barely see it now. I use a lot more graphite on the side than this eye. Start inking. <laughs> Ooh, that looks that looks scary. <laughs> Ooh. 
That looks really scary, actually. Let me hurry up and finish going in your eye. <laughs> Oh, how many times I gotta hold my breath to do this? Wait a minute. <laughs> erase, 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 erase. I really like the way how I did the liner. I like it. It's like sketchy. It's still clean. Okay. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. I wasn't actually planning to do this, but you know that makeup look where it's like pink in the center of the lips. One. Maybe a very dark purple. Hmm. Maybe this color or the stripes. I really like this color. This is such a cute color. I like that. Hmm. Ooh, I am obsessed with this color. Wow. I love this color. I love this color. Oh my gosh. I love this color. I don't. I don't think I've ever used this before. Other than like swatching it down, maybe. Hmm. What do you think? Okay. Ooh, I love it so much. I'm gonna add little highlights. Ooh. Okay, so I didn't realize that it was cut off the whole time, but here is the drawing. And here is the full like pose or outfit I have in plan for her. I think it's really cute, and I think it's going good so far. Dang it, I think I messed it up. The nose. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> why did I do that? Uh, I wanted to just shade it and stuff with the pen because I thought that would be a good idea. And the nose. <laughs> okay, hi everyone. So, my voice is better, and I have a new camera angle. So, here's my drawing so far. Here's it so you guys see it straight on. We went from here to here, and what I'm just thinking to do is to draw her again big and then actually color her full size, and maybe I'll draw her in some other poses. But for right now, I think I'm pretty much got the design of her clothes. I just want to put on her pants. So that's what we're going to do. I already have my colors out from the last time we drew her, and we're just going to get this going. Okay, yes, also my voice is better. <laughs> I know when i go to edit this and hear my voice all scratchy it's gonna be crazy but yes and i do my nails they're kind of i don't really know if i like them and they've literally taken me so long to do so don't even really look at them but here's what they look like i think they're cute but i don't know they kind of seem a little messy i don't know anyway let's show this girl we got her design and kind of want to feel it for her personality. I don't know. Let me just see. I don't know. Would she be a dancer type? Not dancer like this girl, but more of a, you know, smooth type partner dance. Okay, so I'm over here brainstorming different ideas for her character, and I feel like she would be a big purse kind of girl. You know, there's the girls who have the tiny purses, the medium-sized purses. I think she would be the one to carry, like, a big purse. Because I was trying to feel out for her personality and, like, dive into her life and different things that she might do. And this, although I love this, like, but I was always thinking, I was like, is it wrong to think, like, with her in these clothes and, like, now, which kind of looks more modern? Um, I don't think anybody would be doing this. Unfortunately, that sounds so sad, but I really, actually, let me not because, you know, one day, one day. Anyway, uh, so I really don't feel like this will work for her character design, like this whole thing, because I could go crazy just with starting with this idea, like have her have a love interest, but I feel like she's still on the younger side and this isn't the vibe that I really want. I'm thinking more like this. I don't want her to be snobby. I do want her to have a big personality though. So like I was saying, I think she would be the one to have like a huge like purse with her. I feel like she would be the one 
while like on her phone or like drinking a drink or something, you know? I really like that idea actually. I do kind of still want to give her a love interest. I don't know if I'll draw it, but I like just to think that she'll have love interest like her boyfriend or something. I also don't really want the moon earrings anymore. I really like the sparkle earrings. I'm just ready to draw her. I'm gonna use my other pencil eraser. Because I have I have a ton of refills on this. I can honestly just use this one. And make it more realistic because this is giving so cartoony. Stand up and look at myself for reference. Nope, that is not how we're having the foot. <laughs> so, here's the drawing. Hey. I think she's really cute. She's killing it. Killing it. I think she's so cute. Of course, we're gonna go through our mix, mix of feelings of coloring it, but I know I'm gonna end up coloring it. I just have to kind of figure out what is going on with the bags and what I want it to say. I think I should just start to get my crusty poor black <laughs> eraser going and prepare for him, prepare him to start erasing this girly. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it fits all the prompts we have for today? Elegant, retro, and galactic think i definitely do like the like pose and stuff i like the font and kind of style i have for the bag and the two belts i wasn't sure if i wanted to do that at first pictures have been taken memories have been saved it's time to erase this girl what should i name her i had a name for her i remember when i first ooh. May I be mixed a little bit too much. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you all a different angle. Okay, so before I start to color this, I'm gonna make smaller drawings so that I make sure I have the color palette that I want because I want the full finish illustration to look good. So I'm just gonna kind of play with colors and draw a small little body so that I know which colors I wanna use. Cause I was thinking to make her pants just black but then I was also thinking to make her hat just black and not this color. Okay, first one down. This might smudge a lot. Because am I waiting? No. And then her shirt. I do want the shoes to be this color though. Let me make another small sketch. I'm gonna make her shoes black. Ooh. Which one do you guys look better? 
I'm not sure which one I like more, but I'm just going to erase and start coloring the things I know. I'm going to take some of the color from the same color I used for her lips and I'm going to use it for the bag because I don't want to keep introducing new colors. I kind of want the color palette to be around the same because the more colors you introduce, the more messy it can get. Okay, that's really cute. I kind of do want to use an orange though. Hello. White joke pen. I'm gonna add some highlights to her cheeks. So I try to add the stripes on this side. It's not working. So we're just gonna keep it on this side. It may look a little weird, but it's okay. I don't know, I think that just made it look worse. I'm gonna get rid of it now. Here's finished illustration. I think she's so cute. I love it. Let me sign my name. Where should I sign it at? It's right here. I love it. If she were to have a pet, she would have a bunny. But I know I give a pet to every one of my characters. So maybe she doesn't need one, but if she were to have a pet, it would be a bunny and it would be white. Mm-hmm. Fill the space. Any ideas? Any ideas? I want any ideas? I wonder if you guys can even see this the right way. Anyway, I love it. I'm gonna give you guys a close up. And I don't know what to draw right here, but I don't wanna leave it blank. So we're gonna figure out something. Okay, so as I was filling this out, I was thinking more about her personality. And I was thinking that she would be the type of person to have like so like color code everything have so many like what are those things called sticky notes in her bible because yeah. she just looks like the type of person who would do that so this is hers and then she loves this brand peach <laughs> so she has the cup there and she's like just having it out reading the bible stories because who needs reality tv the bible stories are great you should read some if you haven't. I can imagine her to also have a full closet full of shoes and just like a whole a whole closet just full of shoes and clothes, like a whole room. So, Minnie Mouse shoes. 
Yep, she would have a closet full of shoes, just shoes, because she has a shopping, you know, <laughs> obsession here. Okay, well, I'm finished with the drawing. I really, really like it. Ah! I really, really like it. So I just decorated, like, made a glow or whatever. And then, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. But yay, that is the finished illustration. I'll give you guys close-ups on everything. And yes, I love her so much. If you guys, <clears throat> if you guys have any name suggestions, comment down, comment them down below, because this girl needs a name. I had a name idea for her, but I forgot it. So if I remember it while editing, I'll just probably pop it up or an idea. Okay, so we started from over here. You got the prompts of the words, elegant, retro, and galactic, first drawing. And then I want to explore a little bit. So I drew this girl. The lighting keeps changing. I have no idea why. Um, it's trying to adjust. <laughs> okay, then when we started to go to this girl. Then we made a full drawing and I was trying to figure out more of her personality. Here, 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 here. So yeah, I love it so much. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down something in comments because I absolutely love reading you guys' comments. And I hope to catch you in the next video.